So um, my first ad is Cadbury's Gorilla. And I absolutely loved this ad when I first saw it. It felt so fresh and different. It was exemplifying that moment of pure joy, that moment that you put a piece of chocolate into your mouth. And to use a gorilla waiting for that moment that they could bring the drum solo in was just a true lateral leap. The production of the ad itself is faultless. That you really almost think it is a real gorilla. Even watching it after a few years, I look back and go, that was a pretty close gorilla. And, you know, the funny thing is that track uh, is a little bit of a corny track in my generation, but it works so brilliantly and suddenly it made that track cool again. My second ad is Chipotle. You wonder what came first, don't you? Do the lyrics of the song drive the animation? I think Willie Nelson provides a warmth. I was just guessing at numbers and figures. When you look at the attention to detail about how you know, the pigs are actually sort of pill-shaped and you know, that whole how to show the horrible process of what we're doing to our farming and our environment and actually do it in a way that's watchable and it's not so disgusting that you're left feeling bad things about the food that the restaurant are going to serve. No one ever said it would be so hard I'm going back to the start so they had to address that really and say we're not like this and, and this is our pledge to you that we're going to be you know, producing it in an ethical way. So I, I think you wouldn't have believed them if they'd just gone, it's lovely. The fact that they faced up to it was a really, really strong, brave thing to do. My third film is Polaroid's Resignation, um, shot by um, Gondry. You can imagine if that had been shot in Croydon, it might have been good, but it wouldn't have had that sort of modernist fear about the future and, you know, Tokyo with skyscrapers and, and the way the camera moves relentlessly with the, with the music, nah, 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 nah. you know, it's sort of, ah, you can't get out of this, the sort of grind of work and, you know, you're on the sort of treadmill and it just feels like day after day is the same. Everything calms down, the colour becomes normal and you get the joke. I think it's a wonderful film and I, I hope people look at that and see the lesson in it, that you can tell stories without having to be happy all the way through. It's quite interesting because when you look at the three pieces I've chosen, you've got one which is a manifesto for the company policy, one that is really a product demonstration which is Polaroid, and then you've just got one which is totally about emotion. So they, they're sort of three wonderful films that handle very different briefs and you know so how do I link them because they're all absolutely A class of, of the job in hand. I think actually to make really memorable standout work you have to be a bit crazy, you have to take risks and I think I'm just not seeing many risks out there at the moment. They've all told their story in a really interesting fresh way and they haven't been slaves to just ticking a number of boxes and, and making everybody feel happy all the way through. Mm -hmm.